Talk to the Head Reviews. Okay, well, something happened and now my face is on and we can move forward in a more, um, um, What's the word? Well, we just move along more quickly. That's the word! Okay. So, now, I'm usually very excited about the makeup that you have in store for me, but now today is just a little bit different, isn't it? Because you have pressure. You have pressure to get this out, don't you? Well, I mean, I, I guess it's pressure. So, I'm just going to be quiet and let you do the makeup. And you're probably going to do fast forward on it, huh? Well, if, if you like, yeah, sure. Well, it's not my show. It is your show. You're the hand. Talk to the hand reviews. Well, I, well you know that I'm all right. I mean, do you like it? Oh, uh, well, it's a little crooked, don't you think? It's a little bit. It is a little crooked. Now you're going to make, you're going to give me Frida Kahlo brow. No. And what's wrong with Frida Kahlo brow? Nothing. Nothing at all. She was beautiful, no question. But you know, it's not in right now to have just the one eyebrow. I personally don't have any problem with it. But anyways, I'm going to be quiet now. Well, all right, I guess we'll just move on. Well, this nose sort of makes me feel a little like, um, who was it? It was that, what was that? It was in that movie, a really famous movie. Well, um, it was a really old movie. It was a guy and he got all like, he was really scared and there was a little girl with a little little blue and white dress and there was a dog dog just kept on yelling and yelling and and they went away somewhere i don't know what happened but somebody got killed and there was some red shoes oh you mean the wizard of oz yes that's the one of the scarecrow oh well i'm sorry i don't mean to give you a scarecrow nose well it's all right i i know we're gonna have some other steps i'm sorry i'm gonna stop talking now I did really like those red shoes though in that movie. But I still feel a little scarecrowish. I don't know about this lighting. I don't know if it's flattering. Is this a good light color for my for my tone? Oh, come and see. Alright, I'm sorry. I want to talk about this, uh, you want to talk about the lip liner that you got in Japan? Mm-hmm. Well, it, it's my segment, you know, you could always do that later. Well, I'm going to use it now on you. Oh, well, all right. Uh, this company, Integrate Gracie, I did, I, I worked in Japan a few years back. I lived there for six months, and Shiseido. Shiseido has a drugstore brand called Integrate Gracie, honey, and it is so nice. I love these um these lip liners. They stay on. One of my favorite lip liners ever used to be the Clarins lip liners. I don't know if they still. Ah, uh -uh, can I just ask you a favor? Yes. Can you give me one of those little tiny mouth like? little tiny like you know what they call it like a bee sting like a bee sting 
Oh, from like the 1920s or 30s or something? Yes, yes. Why did you just shake like that? Well, because, you know, I had googly eye. I had googly eye stick. It's when, you know, your googly eye sticks. Oh, right. Okay, here we go. coming along. I'm glad you like it. Well, that's nice. It's a little bit understated. That's pretty, though. Now remember, we're going to do view a mailbag in a few minutes. My makeup is almost done. I don't know. That doesn't really look as nice as I'd prefer. Now, you know, I don't know about this lighting either. I, what happened? Well, it changed things around. Well, I guess it's all an experiment, but I, I do benefit from, from attractive lighting. It, it does sort of make everything better for me, and I, I do appreciate it if you spend a little time on the lighting for me. Mitzi, I just didn't have the time today. Well, I know. I know. I think maybe that's too much. I'm sorry, Mitzi. I know it's a little bit overboard. I think maybe you're a little too tired. It's kind of late in the day, but I still appreciate it because I do love makeup, even if it does look kind of sometimes kind of not. The result isn't exactly what I would prefer, but I do still enjoy the makeup and I do have fun with it. And I'm looking forward to that mailbag because I don't know what I don't know what's in store. I mean, either you don't know. You, you don't know anything about the questions? No. All right. Now you know with this one, I'm thinking maybe we can go darker color maybe. Hmm, yeah, I like that one. Wow. That is deep. I should have just picked that up first. I love it. Can you say this is Maybelline? Yeah, it's a Maybelline. It's a lip color palette. I like it. That's the darkest color in there, and I like it on me. I like it. I like it a lot. How do you feel about it, Mitzi? Well, I like... Are you making fun of me? No. Well, why not? I'm the, I'm the star of the show. I'm the comedy person. Because you're sensitive. Well, I guess I am. I like that. That's a very nice look overall, I think. Is that it? Well, I think I like a little blush. Now that looks so silly. Are you going to leave it like that? No, of course not. I just like to... You know. Everybody, we're going to remind you right now. Please like, subscribe, slap the bell, and holler if you'd like to help... Me become the very first hand on YouTube to have a million subscribers. Thank you so much, Sugar Bean. I just, I tell you, I just, 
I just love so much for you to just, for you to, for you to just slap, slap that, slap, 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 that, slap, 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 slap the bell, slap, slap, and holla! Mitzi, that is so cute. Thank you, you know, it's just one of those, you know, freestyle. I like to freestyle a lot. I, yeah, I like to, anyways. I really like that Integrate Gracie from Shiseido. Mm -hmm. Hello. Welcome to another episode of Talk to the Hand Reviews. Today is the day after last night's video that I put up like a couple hours ago because my husband and I stayed up to like five in the morning to just get that through because and then we ended up getting some more of that great work that I was talking about that <clears throat> kept me from doing a more video and getting Mitzi out of bed <laughs> just kidding um no I just wasn't able to to record any Mitzi stuff but I do want to keep the channel going and I don't if there ever is any watcher I don't want them to be disappointed and, but not just that, I'm really enjoying it myself. So, uh, I'm, but I'm going to do a real fast one now because today actually I'm going out. <clears throat> um, I'm going to start off with um, Organics Cosmetics Illuminating Day Cream with Rosehip Oil. I wonder if you can see that. I, I have tried this one. Um, I got it from Winners where I get a lot of my stuff. I can show you the back. Um, let's see, Cosmos Organic, certified by EcoCert Green Life, according to Cosmos Standard, available. Available, sorry, Co Cosmos Standard. Available at, and then cosmos.ecocert.com. Um, the first ingredient is aloe barbadensis leaf juice, glycerol stearate. Anyways, it, I don't really want to read you the whole thing, but it's organic illuminating day cream for all skin types. And I, I, I did try it. Uh, I did get it just to see, you know, what it'd be like. I assumed it wouldn't, it wouldn't be strong enough for my skin, um, but I have been using it now for a little bit. And uh, there you go. Can you see it? <laughs> um, I always like it when people give me an idea of consistency. So let's see if I can you get an idea of the consistency there. I don't know. It's a really nice consistency. I would say that almost anybody would like this cream. It feels, it feels really comfortable going on. It's a really good price. Like, uh, I got it at Winners. I think it was like seven, maybe seven bucks. Seven bucks for, I mean, a nice little jar. It's fifty, yeah, fifty mils, one point seven ounce. That's you know pretty common size. But I uh, find that I personally still need to have something more strong moisture-wise, not right away, in like a couple hours, which not all moisturizers like. But this is not does not say it's for dry skin. It says for all skin, and I, I really would I would highly recommend this, um, Organics Certified Illuminating Day Cream. I would highly I would highly recommend it. The price is great. It comes in a glass jar. That's nice, you know, for recycling and, um, yeah. Oh, you know what? It doesn't say, does it say, yeah, it does. It says, sorry, I'm looking at the wrong part. Anti-pollution and cruelty-free. So, you know how I was talking about going in this direction. If you're, if you're thinking about it, you know, I don't have any affiliate links or I don't have anything like that going on. I'm just talking about stuff that I've tried that I like or sometimes that I don't like but usually I don't really want to dwell on things that I don't like I just move on to something else but I really like this I think that most people would there's there's one small negative about uh, a lot of organic lotions and creams that I have that I've noticed because I've tried a few they have this strange smell and it smells fresh. It smells fresh. I think it's just that we're so used to in, in uh, our consumerism that we are that we are in now. We're we're used to what you know the big companies are fragrancing things with. We're always 
but for a company to make such a really nice high quality product and I'm sure I didn't pay more than eight bucks for it I probably got it on sale but I don't have the, the tag on it um, but it does have a little bit of that smell but it's not a gross smell it's just strange ever so slightly strange and even that I feel like I shouldn't even tell you because I would totally go go get this thing where wherever you can get it I got it at winners you can probably get it organics cosmetics you can probably get it at like you know um, I bet your gro I bet the grocery store in the in the uh, organics aisle rose hip oil organics certified organic illuminating day cream yeah I would highly recommend it so anyways I just wanted to since this is talk to the hand reviews and I, I think I'm not doing that good of a job of, of the review part but I'm um, but I am talking about a lot of stuff that I like enthusiastically. I mean, is that really a review? I think <clears throat> now, nowadays everybody has to say a negative about everything. But I don't want to say a negative about everything because every product doesn't have to fill my every need. I mean, they're not responsible to, you know, especially the, the, the more affordable products. Like, I'm not looking to, at those more affordable products to solve my every problem. I'm just thankful that they came up with something affordable so that people who uh, choose not to spend that money can choose, can't, can't, most importantly can't, but if they also choose, um, that they can also participate in the world of skincare and makeup and all that. And, that, and that's really important. It's not about rich. It's not about, it's just about self-care and self-love and and also being able to project the you to the world that you want to project anyhow i'm talking too much and i gotta go out so i told myself this is going to be more of a straight it's, it's got to be fast it can't be as long as usual because i'm supposed to be leaving in a half an hour so here we go what, what's in my hand suddenly elf tone adjusting face primer are you familiar with this at all elf tone adjusting face primer this stuff's pretty fun I don't really have much red in my face today, but I usually do. I'm just going to go ahead and put a little bit of that on because I'm going to mix myself a little cocktail for my face. I started with that crazy green there. Isn't that fun? Now, now I got my, I'll put it on first and then I'll show you what it is. My NYX Born to Glow, tiny bit of the Illumini, Illuminator, Illuminizer. Illuminizer! Illum Illuminator. Okay, someone else calls their thing an Illuminizer. Is this NYX Born to Glow? Are you born to glow? You are born to glow. Anyways, two things there. Can you see? Can you see? Two colors there. Green and gold. Yeah, yeah. No, put that on your face. Okay, you're done. You're out the door. <laughs> it's like Homer's makeup, makeup gun in uh, The Simpsons. Homer! I don't think women will, will enjoy being shot in the face. <laughs> okay, next up I think I'm going to put on my Maybelline Urban Dream Cover. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to add that to the mix. Add it to the mix. I'm DJing this face stuff. Add it to the mix. So shall we stop there and see what we get? Let's stop there and see what we get. I think I should put a little bit. Do I, well, I need. Maybe I won't need the dark. Maybe I'll just leave it like this. Okay, I'll add a little bit more of this one. Now we'll see what we get. Let's mix it. I'll mix it. And can you see it? I don't know if you can see it. You probably can't see it, but let's mix it. Ooh, ooh, squish it, squish it around, and oh, it's weird. Oh yay! It's a fun song. Oh, see, that did look pretty good. Look at what that ended up being. That's really nice. Cool, I'm going to try it on my face now. Oh, you see? I just got it like that, you know? I'm just kidding, of course. I'm joking. Anytime I say stuff like that, I'm joking. But, you know, I didn't make enough of this mix. It's okay. You know what? I need to do this part because I'm still wearing mask. I'm still masking. I don't know what's wrong with me. And even if I did, I would still probably mask because I feel bad for vulnerable people who can't even speak up. They can't even say anything without somebody trying to run up and take off their mask or some silly... I'm sorry, maybe that's not the case because I haven't experienced that. 
but I just feel that um, I've had a couple weird experiences wearing my mask now that masking has been lifted, but that's okay. People don't know other people's experiences, and I really do not know what's wrong with me. I'm still not completely well after that tick bite. I have glaucoma, that's all I know. But so that was pretty good. I like that. Are you chair dancing? <laughs> Let's dance! Let's chair dance! Okay, but see, as usual now, I'm taking too much time. Too much time! I'm taking too much time! I have to blow my nose, but I think I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait because I just, I don't, I don't want to edit. I want to try to just, because the reason I'm doing this is because I got, um, I think I already said, all of a sudden I got, I found out today that I got a bunch more of the work that I was saying kept me from doing a video and doing a Mitzi video last week. So I'm thinking, oh, I'm just going to turn on the camera now because I just did it last night and I had such a great time doing it again and <laughs> looking at myself. I had such a great time doing it again and, uh. I don't want to stop. Um, so, and I and I have not even begun to talk about the stuff I like. So, Get my little Avon collector, collectibles, collectibles, collectibles mug. Mm. I always keep a little cover on top of it just so, like. It keeps its warm. I live in Kanyada, Canada. I used to work in, in Los Angeles area. I used to work in a, a real for a real estate company in La Kanyada Flint Ridge. And uh, you know what? I'm just gonna concentrate on my makeup. I'll tell you that story later. But let's see. Okay, what do I always okay? Here looks like this. This is the odd thing out, but this is so cool because <laughs> stuff jumps out. They become so animated. That was just. I'm sorry about that. Don't overfill it. Or don't like do that on camera. Uh, okay, here's. This is like some of my most used stuff. I feel like if I'm gonna like, like I said, board a plane to Paris all of a sudden. I'm gonna board a plane to Paris. I'll be ready. Honey, with my special little holder for our stuff that won't get squished in the bag I put underneath my seat. <laughs> Anyways, so here we go. Honey, 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 here we go with the hard candy eyeshadow primer. Eyes the limit. Eyes the limit. Oh, so cute. Uh oh, oops. Uh. Breathe in. You know, I saw a doctor, I'm sorry to, that I don't know who, don't remember who it was, but there's a doctor on the YouTubes who showed how like in five minutes by deep breathing, you can lower your blood pressure. So if you have that, now where did I put the top? Here it is. If you have any anxiety, well, I, I don't want to, I'm not a doctor. I cannot give advice. I'm just saying that based on what I saw this, this doctor do. Um, breathing deep. If 
for five minutes. Lowered blood pressure. That sounds like interesting advice. Who cares what age you are? Probably, as long as you don't breathe like fast like that, because that can sometimes cause dizziness. But just like slowly, but not holding your breath, nothing hard, nothing that feels hard. Just taking, filling in your lungs and then letting it all out. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and, because I said before, my eyebrows and my, my eyebrows and my lips. I, I'm disturbed by seeing my, <laughs> disturbed. No, I don't want to say disturbed, because um, I'm not disturbed, but uh, okay, I'm going to be quiet now. Sorry. Annabelle VIP Lip Stylo. All this, all information has been completely rubbed off because I've used it so much. But An Annabelle VIP Lip Stylo. This is one of the most amazing products I've ever. I I did read this. That I don't know if this is the case with this, but some stuff. Uh, they're called Forever Chemicals, and they can stay in your system forever. That's true of this. I don't know if that. I don't know what the situation is. I just heard that. So, it's just a heads up. Look into it for yourself if you're curious. I I don't know anything. So that's cool. And let's see. What else is here? Okay, here's something. I I pick this one up sometimes. Annabelle Big Show Gel Lip Liner in Meet Rosie. Right. It's great that there's so many great people out there doing this that you can learn from. Mm -hmm. I just, I usually do some sort of liner over my entire lip area, and then that's for lasting. And then over that, I go with my other lip colors. This is the way I normally do it. Not that I've been doing it in the videos because I've just been showing products, but today I'm just going out, so. large variety of music here. I'm, <laughs> I'm just going to allow this one to play too because, and I'll just be quiet and do my makeup. I'll just share somber vibe. The first coffee. Oh, I can't eat my coffee. Yes. <laughs> Oh, 
another thing I like about that Annabelle uh, Lip Stylo VIP is it does, uh, it tends to not bleed. And I, and I am getting that thing where um, the area right outside my lips, sometimes lip colors, like the wrong kinds of lip colors, lip liners will um, bleed a little more than when I was younger. So that's just something to be aware of. Um, excuse me for rubbing my eye, something I really shouldn't do. Okay, I'm going in now. Like I said, I'm going to try to be quiet. What is this? this is probably almost over. <laughs> oh, I was kidding, but it, I missed my chance. Okay, I'm going to do something I don't normally do. But let's see. No, I'm not. I'm not going to do that yet. Let's see what I'm going to do. I'm trying to do something a little bit differently every time. Even though a lot of times I, my favorite products are my favorite products, you know, I just, I have really nice big palettes that I don't have in front of me right here. I should grab some of those because they are really great. But what I do enjoy a lot that I think I've used a few times, this is the, this is a Wet n Wild. No, I'm so sorry. It's Annabelle. Annabelle Cosmetics Subtle Coral. It's a really nice, um, it reminds me of something that my, one of my friends gave me. Uh, a while back from Tarte. It's a really nice light, it's a really moist uh, cream blusher. Yeah, this is this is good music for hurrying up my makeup. So as I've gotten older I just kind of keep it all up here. But, uh, you know, I think I'm, I'm going to stop talking about why I do things and I'm just going to do it and I'll probably end up speeding it up if I can. Oh, that tickles is too difficult for me to do. I put that up there. I'm supposed to leave in like 15 minutes. I find that uh, sitting at a table and putting on makeup is kind of hard to maneuver your hands with the, with the camera and everything. Kind of hard to maneuver your hands to where you would normally put on your eye makeup. Anyways. I think before I do my liner, I'm going to go in with, I just love this. This is a blockbuster from a few years ago. No, well, yeah, the year before last, so really about not quite two years, but a year and three quarters. This gorgeous set of three hard candy palettes that came in that. Oh my gosh, they're so nice. I'm really, really digging them. And they came in a, in a holiday blockbuster. And um, I did talk about them a little bit, but I'm not sure if I showed them at all. So now I have shown you them, and now I'm just going to be reaching for them randomly here. Um, let's see. They've got a lot of, it's a lot of really good, uh, this one's called... Lap of luxury, but it's not. Um, I think I already showed it to you, so I'm not gonna. Sh I'm not gonna do that this time. But uh, I guess I should do this thing, huh? That's what you want. You want me to do this? Okay, I'm gonna go in with. Well, you don't care what I do, but but whoever wants to see this makeup. Okay, let's see. Is this one with the transitions? No, this is the one with. Lap of, oh, let me just use Lap of Luxury. They have one that's called Lap of Luxury, but it's slightly different. Okay, I'm going to start with some transition in here. I'm breaking my rule. I'm using my my highlighter brush for a transition. It's because I'm in a hurry and I'm trying to 
make a quick video and because I enjoy it. Do you have any special plans? Do you have any special plans coming up? And I don't mean special plans like spending a lot of money going out. Do you have special plans personally? Like, are you planning on writing a book? Are you planning on um, finding a new job? Are you planning on um, adopting a baby? You know, just pull it out of there. What are you planning on? This? I'm not planning on that, but just anything. It doesn't have to be involved with money or buying or anything, but please feel free to leave whatever life event you have going on because that's one of the fun, funnest, that's not a word, that's one of the most fun things about makeup. It's always about a party. It's always about a special event, sort of. It's always about going out, being seen, um, being involved. I'm going to make myself cry. Okay, I'm going to stop talking. But I'll just tell you really quickly why it made me cry. It's because, um, people feel left out of life because they don't feel attractive enough, but they don't feel... Excuse me, I know that's gross, but... Okay, can I comedy myself out of it? Um, because I just want to get my makeup done, because I want to go out, because stores I want to go to close before for Because when you work so late, you stay up till five. To finish stuff. And you do it a lot, because that's what you do. You gotta do the project. And you like it, you're happy to do it. But it, it is just, anyways, I don't want to miss the stores. Everything closes. We, I go in and like, <laughs> try not to meet that last person in there, but like <laughs> when some of the salespeople see you like consistently as the last person in there, right? As they're like trying to close all the lights, it's like, oh man, I remember when I used to have to work, you know, not have to, but I remember, well, I always had to work, yes. But what I mean is no, when I chose to work, but when I, when I worked, uh, in stores, whatever, I'd be like, why are these people here at the last minute? Why don't they, why don't they know that, like, people have lives and they, they want to go and, like, they want to go have dinner somewhere and they want to, why are they so mean to, you know, people who work behind the counter and people who, you know, or people who work in, uh, you know, retail or whatever, why are they so mean, you know? And now I'm that person and I, I'm not, I'm just like, I, uh, I'm just trying to suck the last minute out of my shopping today. But none of that has anything to do with why I cried. It has, it's just that, um, I don't want to talk about it anymore because I'm going to cry again. I just want to do makeup. This crying session brought to you by Aloe Cose. Soft facial tissues for crying under any circumstance. Happy, sad, or who knows. Allo goes A. Cry away. <laughs> okay. All right, there we are. This is why, this is why. I hate it when they put on sad ballads in the store. I will literally just cry. But now I can blow my nose to the beat. <laughs> uh, okay. Alright. Now, I'm going to do makeup seriously because I'm running out of time. Okay, you know, I'm going to go back to this Adrian Gutadini black mascara. No, I'm not. I'm all kind of discombobulated. Okay. Here I go. Oh, please don't be a ballad. 
Okay, I'm going back to my lap of luxury, which you saw. Living in the lap. Living in the lap of luxury. Do you remember that song? Sure feels good to me. I don't remember who it was. Do you remember who it was? Living in the lap, in the lap. Living in the lap. Living in the lap of luxury. Oh no, this is like... This is the pensive music that makes, will usually make me cry for sure. Now I don't remember which eyeshadow I used. <laughs> did you see which one I did? I think it must have been, I think it was this one, but it might have been this one. Okay, I'm going to try this one. They're um, a little more frosty than I would normally choose for my eye, except as long as I avoid the, the, um, the hooded areas. As long as I avoid the hooded areas. Like, see there, I have a really bad hooded area right there that overhangs. I try to put, like, um, non-frosts in that area. There we go. Oh, now it turned into like, it was like a thoughtful, pensive, mu like piano, almost kind of sad. I was for sure I was going to run over and now it's like meditation. It's good vibes music. I found in the videos I'm doing, it looks like I got a bat wing going on up here all the time. So I'm going to try to, because I don't want that look. I want it to kind of be like, I don't want it to go... Con that's the thing. I don't need it to continue out now like I did when I was younger. I need it to go up. Okay. Excuse me for touching my face right now. My nose itches. Ah! My, ah! Mon amour! Je reviens. Je reviens. Je reviens. I'm probably saying it wrong. It means I'll be back or I'll return, something like that. Um, by Worth Berry. Um, I don't remember when it came out. I mean, I wasn't around before my time, I believe. Oh my gosh, is this playing again? This is so depressing. I'm sorry, I've got to change this music. But first I'm going to spray it, this lovely fragrance, Worth, in the air for you so you can smell it long. Ensuring my DJ skills. That's one. Whee! <laughs> okay. Now the air smells like soap and white flowers and something oceanic. It's like, I wore this for a really, really long time. Um, especially when I did gigs and I was worried, I didn't want my clothes to smell like, you grew up there, you're singing and moving around a lot. Or even working somewhere where you're working all day. Or working all day and then going to a gig at night. Or to a class. To a class and then a job. Or a job and then a class and then another job. Or whatever it is that you're doing. This fragrance, it really smells There's no, I can't believe anyone would ever say that this doesn't smell really high class, really high end, just really clean and fresh. Clean, fresh, and soapy. And now, my tears have dried, so I'll put on some more makeup. Why do I think I'm prepared? Well, because today I didn't think I was prepared. Today was just off the cuff really fast, right? I'm going to make sure I don't break any of my really fun stuff here. I'm trying to run around too fast. Oh, you know what? Yesterday, and I put it away, didn't I? That's okay. I was going to say yesterday I opened up that new black eyeliner. I'm going to use one of my older ones. I got Adrian Vitadini one. This is really pretty good, pretty good liner I found. I don't really generally like to use the liners that have the wood, because you know, it's winter sometimes. This up here is really the most important thing. 
getting that up there. Up that that above the eye water line. Like nothing else matters. Wet and wild, everybody. Love it. Wet and wild. Been around since the beginning of my makeup experience. That's one of the reasons why I really love these. These companies that... Makeup can be got and enjoyed for a reasonable price almost anywhere in the world. It doesn't have to be expensive, but as long as it's approved by, you know, authorities to not make you sick or something, then it shouldn't matter. Lit. Roll up to the party. Roll up, roll up to the party. Roll up to the party. Roll up, to the party. Roll up to the party. Roll up, roll up to the party. Roll up to the party. Roll up, roll up to the party. Oh, I can't do that. See, that's a dizzy thing. I forget. Roll up to the party. Roll up, roll up to the party. Skeet, skirt, skeet. What does that mean? Is that something bad? I thought it just meant, yeah, I'm, I'm up on it. Skirt, I'll be there, I'll be there in my ride. Skirt, skirt. As I roll up, I'll roll up in my, roll up in my Lambo. Skirt, skirt. <laughs> Thanks, hon. Okay. <laughs> Now I need to do something about my lips. Here we go. Cause it's gotta be fast now, cause I'm messing around too much. Too much messing around. What's in here that's fun? It's all fun. What's something I can tell you about? This is kind of. I probably shouldn't be using this one. Yeah, this one's really old. Okay. Um. Okay, here's something I love. Excuse me. I think I used this recently, the Maybelline one. I love the nude that's in here. So I've got the base of, um, you know, darker colors going on. So I'm going to go ahead and This is my nude. These other colors are great, but for me, it's the nude. I find that most older older lips, because just because of the general principle that light brings forth and dark recedes. So if your lips are s smaller because you're older, or if your lips are just, you just want your lips to look bigger, which is, I've always done this. It doesn't really matter that I'm older now. I've always done this. You just, 
need to bring something in the front so that the lips have the appearance of more fullness. No. I think I hit the pan. I haven't even used it very much. That's okay. That's all right. Something like this. They're, they're not expected to gain that much. I'm working on my teeth yellowing with coconut oil and those um I used to love those pressed white strips and stuff but um, after a while they hurt I don't know why they just this weird racking pain in my teeth afterwards during and afterwards oh there's the lippy I was looking for that's okay. I like I like what I did. And I could even go one step further. Here's something fun. NYX Lingerie Shimmer. Um, it's called LLSO1 Clear. NYX Lingerie. <clears throat> it's called Lingerie. It's um it's called Shimmer. So though, if I'm gonna put on a shimmer, my my lip my lippy is already a little bit moist. I could even go with another a little bit. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? See what? Now I'm gonna go with my Bogese B Colorful Moisturizing Lipstick Crayon in Pesca. I assume that means peach. Sorry, my nails aren't done this week. I love this one. I've been I use I've used the heck out of it. And uh, I'm going to use a heck of it now. This is a purse one, for sure. Yeah, it's got a nice last lasting to it. But I, I, I don't see it around. I don't see it available anymore. So I'm not really sure what companies do. But I sure do love that they that I somehow got a hold of this wonderful little item. Because it's one of my favorites. And um, now I'm going to go with that NYX Shimmer. See the illumination here and here? All that is is a trick of light. It's a trick of light. That makes people think that, whoops, I shouldn't have done that, that your lips are fuller. You know what? Oh my gosh. Here's a master class uh, insight that I have for sure. Um, when I, I worked at a doll, not sorry, not the doll museum. I also worked at a. I think I'm just going to use this Adrian Vigilini mascara today. Which one is it? Is it it's a black one? It's almost done. Uh, yeah, it's getting pretty dried out, but I still have really enjoyed it, and I have no idea how to get it again because Adrian Vigilini Studio. I don't think they normally make makeup. The insight. When I, I worked at I worked at a, uh, a famous wax museum in Southern California called Movie Land Wax Museum when I was a teenager, and um, and I was really mesmerized by the place. And there was a guy who worked there at the time. He was he was the one who did all the sculptures. His name was Logan Logan Fleming. And um, I was really amazed by his work, and I. I had seen a few other wax museums, and I, I had never seen anything like what this man did. Uh, what his, for some reason, all, I mean, almost all of the wax figures, they looked like the people. Like, there were a few that didn't, but most of them, like, I, it, it was, it was unbelievable. And, um, I, I met him, he was in there, uh, working on one of the things. And I, and I went up, I said, oh, are you, are you Mr. Fleming? He was like, oh, I really love all your work. And he was really nice about it. He was like, oh, thank you. But I, I don't really remember what ended up happening. But I think that uh, something happened and the new owners took over and or something. And he wasn't allowed to be there anymore or something like that. I might be wrong about that. But he was really nice to me uh, and not like weird nice. He was just very like oh thank you very much but the thing that I learned about him 
after studying his work, what I discovered that there was a difference, it is a difference, and here it is. He had control over the lighting, the set, the set, the lighting, the, the makeup. It wasn't just a head that came in, here you go, here's your new Michael Jackson head, or you know, sorry, here's your new Fred Astaire head. You know, and because they also have to be maintained because the wax and stuff, it falls, it it gets old, it has to be maintained. And so he was on there, but I think since then, the idea of people that go, here you go, here's a wax dummy, throw it in the, throw it in the set. No, but he really did. He had control of the lighting and the makeup and the, and the clothes, I believe the clothing and everything. So he had the same control of a person like, like me right now. I, I actually know it. Oh my gosh, I forgot to turn on my, oh, silly me. I'm just using natural light. Let me put on my other, my lighting. Is that, that's the, that's the key. That's a key. Oh, now my thing will turn on. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. Natural light is fun, right? And um, so that really, made me realize that it's not the piece necessarily, it's the surrounding, the control of how it's viewed in what situation. And um, he really, he knew that. I think what he did, you know what, I think he was an ad painter, Logan Fleming, I think he was an ad painter before um, he started doing the, um, the wax stuff. But I, I think he's one of these people who was really, really brilliant, but people won't really know much, ever know much about it because his medium is not, was not lasting. It wasn't only in photographs, is it lasting? And, and then, you know, it, it just did, it lost popularity after a while. Things come in and out of, of a favor and, you know, it's nobody's fault. It's just, I think the way that things go, but let's see. Am I done? I think I need to be done because I got to get on out of here. Oh my gosh, it's after I was supposed to be. <laughs> but I'm having so much fun. And I'm glad I was reminded of that Logan Fleming thing because because uh, I really, he was part of my, my study sort of of, of um, um, actually a study of, of applied applied beauty techniques applied visual techniques that's what it was applied visual techniques using lighting and um, makeup but he will never get the appreciation for it I don't think uh oh oops what did I do I put too much well, that's all right that looks fine I'm just gonna go sh I'm just going shopping okay so I think I'm getting on out of here. I gotta finish up with a little bit bronzer. Makeup is there for all our special occasions. I think that's what made me cry. Makeup is there for our life. And you don't have to be rich to participate. You don't have to stand in the sidelines and go, oh, well, I guess I'm not allowed because I'm not one of them. No, you can participate. So makeup is there at every special occasion. It's there at every party. It's there. And you don't have to be wealthy. But if you are wealthy, hey, the party is still on. The party is good no matter what. But makeup is about the best things that happen in our lives, I think. Okay, I'm gonna cry again. Okay, I need a little more color. Uh, I'm using my Hard Candy Just Glow Silk Blush Mango and Butter. It's another one, the cute little one came in a... I have, I have some other blushes that just, this is in my little Duramax. For all your makeup storage needs. <laughs> Alright, 
Well, I think I'm done now. I don't need more makeup than that. Now my eyebrows a little bit harsh. Let's blend those down a little bit. Are they different length? on a YouTube channel with, that deals with makeup is I just put gold liner on my lower waterline. I would never reach for this to go out, but because I'm just doing this for fun, I did. And look, I really like it. Just the gold. I wouldn't have thought that I would be digging that. There, that's nice. See again, just the light, just pulling forward the area that needs a little bit of illumination. That's all it, it is about. And I have some nice, um, let's see, put some, sorry. Okay, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and just do one more powdering and I think I'm done, even though, um, I might put some other things on. I think this isn't the most glamorous look ever, but it's good for going out and it's low key and it's classy enough that I at least feel like people see me and if I if I run into anyone I know, which is not very common, but if I do, at least I had to put some makeup on. So I'm not gonna curl my lashes or anything today, but um I want to thank you very much for hanging out with me again and uh, I hope to get to do more of these videos but I'm also really excited that I'm working a lot and I hope that um, I, I know that Mitzi loves to be on stage and so Mitzi was a little bit surprised when the last episode when she didn't get her chance so she does want to come back and share share things with you and give you a piece of her mind but um, anyhow thanks a lot and I, I really hope that now what I want you to do is, okay, you can still keep looking at YouTube or whatever, but before you do that, after this video, or even right now, just get up. Just don't even think about it. Just get up with your feet. And can you go out somewhere? Can you just go out on a balcony or can you go outside of an apartment building if you live in apartments? I lived in apartments most of my life <clears throat> when I was younger. Um, can you go out and experience something where you're not in a screen? Because I think that it is really, really addictive. Uh, I find that I, I spend way too much time wa watching beauty, all kinds of YouTubers. And it's mostly YouTubers. Um, I don't really engage in other stuff and other social media too much. It's too mentally taxing for me. Like I did get, Facebook had a, did a thing where, I don't know what happened. I think someone hacked it and then they said, you posted something and so we closed your account. And I, I didn't post anything offensive. I never would. But and then I thought, oh, this is a good opportunity to exit Facebook. And I'm still on Twitter, but like I I said a while ago that I was, I, I'm not really, I'm not good with that because also too, I don't think it's healthy to pay attention constantly to other people's opinions and points of view. You, that's it is valuable for you to formulate your own opinion without necessarily the input of others. It is valuable for you. Your input is valuable and you don't necessarily have to worry about what other people are going to think and that they're not going to like you because you disagree with whatever it is. That Your opinion is still valuable and if your opinion is stifled, what does that mean? 
means you weren't hurt and you won't be hurt. So anyhow, I want you to go outside and have a nice time and even just go get a breath of air. Go get yourself a, uh, if, you, if you live where you can't get out like that, just get away from a screen. Get away from the screen. Do you have plants? Go look at your plants for a minute. Do you have a pet? Go cuddle on your pets. Do something else. Go take a bath. Just get away from the screen for a few minutes, just to for a few minutes. And then you can come back and screen up all you want. But I think that that, I find that I get addicted to this. I go from one thing to the next thing. Go, oh, such and such capsule wardrobe. Oh, the newest release of so-and-so. Oh my goodness. Oh, the drama with so-and-so or whatever. I don't really, I'm not too into the drama stuff because I don't want to, I don't like people to be victimized ever. And drama a lot of times means someone's being treated badly. So, but some stuff is interesting so anyhow have a really great week or day or whatever it is because i'm going to try to do more of these but i can't guarantee and i'm just thankful to have enough work where that we're bringing in you know uh income where i can afford to spend time doing a video so anyhow all the best all the best dance 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 If you could choose to reincarnate as any kind of plant or animal, what would you wish to be? Oh my goodness. Well, I have never ever been asked a question like that before, but mm, let me think. Mm, mm, I don't know. Mm, I'm trying to think really hard. I, I can't come up with an answer, but I would say, all oh, right, well, I would have to say, well, I, you know, I really like yes well i like yes i i think that for plants mm, yes i like a lot of plants mitzi yes i think there's a few questions i think we got to move it along well all right then um okay if i could be a plant well i like the cactus the cactus yes i like the cactus i don't know why okay moving on mm-hmm uh, oh, or animal. Oh, yes. Well, if I were an animal, I, I like, um, mm hmm. Mm hmm. Well, I really like, mm hmm. Well, there's that, there's that parrot that can talk, you know, and I, I like him because that parrot, he can get real smart ass, and everybody just thinks, oh, it's funny. He's just, he's just a parrot, and those don't take it seriously. He's not really insulting you. But he could just sit there and insult people and insult people. And it's like a big, long-running joke. But everybody just sort of thinks, well, you know, it's okay because he's a parrot. You want to be that? Well, no, not really. But I just can't think of anything else. And also, I think he lives to be like 100 years old. Really? Well, I don't know, but something like that. Okay, next question. Dear Mitzi. Yes. What is your favorite makeup? Oh, well, that's easy. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Mitzi. Yes. Are you a lefty? Yes, I am. Can you use scissors? I do not use scissors. I'm not normally called upon to do that kind of work. That's actually the, you know, in my job description, that's more the right hands thing. The right hands thing. Yes, you know, I, that's not really my thing. I'm more the creative type. The right, I'm like, you know, what is it? I'm the left brain or the right. The left. I'm the left brain. I'm the creative one. And the right hand takes care of those other things like that. Let's bring the right hand in. But hi, right hand. Right hand doesn't usually talk that much. Me and the right hand, sometimes we don't see eye to eye. But I do like that. Now, don't, now you know, sometimes I have makeup on and you can't, like, shake my hand. So anyways, yeah, that's the right hand. Yeah, you could you could put your hands together for the right hand. I can't right now because the right hand is busy and so so am I. Anyways, next question. If you were stranded, yes, on a desert, yes, island. Oh my gosh, I always wanted to be asked a question like this. If you were stranded on a desert island, what would you mm, what's next? With a solar powered music player. Oh, all 
All right, well, that's a different thing. I thought it was going to be, what lip gloss would you have? Something like that. Uh, okay. Uh, music player. Yes, but it was only loaded with, yes, one song. What would you wish to have with you? Oh, well, I think that's probably pretty easy. It would probably be something really fun, something really danceable, like maybe something from, um, it has to be a song, not a mix. Oh, well, um, uh, I, I would say, uh, okay, well, I like that song. Um, there's a song called, um, uh, it's like, a, oh, it's an instrumental, so I'm sorry, I can't think of it, but it's a really danceable one. It goes, it's really dance. I'll get back to you on that. Okay, great. That sounds good. That's acceptable. You'll be back. I will be back with that one for sure because you know I'm a music lover. Mm -hmm. Here's another question. Yes. Are there any puppets that you look up to? Oh my gosh. Yes. Well, you know what? I really, really, I really, really like, I like, yes. I have always liked, I have always liked. Well, now is it like you just like? Like the puppet or you look up to the puppet like you admire the puppet or can it just be a puppet that you think is cool for like can it be like you know I mean like I I like I like like you know I like Big Bird Big Bird I, I literally look up to Big Bird but I, I don't know I, I don't know if that's what I mean by look up to Mitzi yes who's your favorite puppet Kermit the Frog okay excellent I really love Kermit the Frog. I look up to I look up to Kermit the Frog. Next question. Well, I'll get back to you on more Kermit the Frog. Mitzi, yes. What do you think about gloves? Well, I love gloves personally. I I really like gloves. I, you know what? In fact, I consider gloves part of my beauty treatment because I like to put on some very very some of our very nice hand creams and hand lotions that we have around here from our really really great companies then then and then I put and then I like to wear gloves and you know do things and that's like a beauty treatment mm-hmm it's like oops sorry googly googly stop uh, there we go I gotta keep them moving you know just like everything else in life like here I'm gonna stretch mm. oh that was a little weird I know I love gloves. I love them. But if you don't personally like to wear gloves, I, I'm not going to mind. I'm not. That's fine with me. I'm sure that you're lovely without gloves. Next question. What was the best day of your life? Or at least a really good one. And why? Well, that's an easy question to answer. The best day of my life is always tomorrow. Because tomorrow is always something I look forward to. And even as great as today it was, and even if today wasn't good, I know tomorrow, tomorrow, I love you. Tomorrow, you're always a day away. Tomorrow, tomorrow, I love you, love you. Tomorrow, you're only a day. Mitzi, I wasn't even expecting that. Well, I know because you didn't even know what the questions were, so. Well, let me, let me get my composure. I feel a little funny now. I hope I don't get dizzy. All right, I'm on a hold still. Mitzi, yes. Do you do any impressions? Sometimes. But I think I'm going to keep my impressions to myself today. I I'm going to keep those to myself and you can find out in the future. Are you okay? Yes, I feel great. But I said I was going to be still for a minute and I was still. All right. Well, this has been Mitzi's Mailbag. Mitzi's Mailbag. And once again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for, for coming to join our, watching our show. I'm sorry, I'm not prepared. Thank you for watching our show, Talk to the Hand Reviews. Please remember to like, subscribe, slap, and holler, uh, the, slap the bell, and, and holler at us. If you like reviews, 
general silliness, demos, and things like that. We like perfume, we like makeup, we like gourmet stuff, we like jewelry, we love jewelry, we like, we like lotion, we like, well, we like a lot of things like that. Anyways, I'll see you later, sugar bean! Mwah! Talk to you.